Here's an AMI This Week shortcut with Grant Hardy. In the basement of the Blusson Spinal Cord Research Center lives a busy, bustling wood shop called the Tetra Woodworking Shop. In it, participants of all abilities build their own woodworking projects. Participants like wheelchair user Marnie Smithies, who explains what draws her to woodworking. It's just taking, you know, like say a chunk of wood and making a beautiful bowl or a beautiful pan or, you know, like just making something with your hands, right? And then seeing a, a final project and, and other people like looking at it and just going, wow, that's, that's really pretty, you know? Like it's just, yeah, it's just satisfying. Marnie's had a lot of projects on the go throughout her time at the shop, including bowls, rolling pins, and picture frames for her art. And now it's even a chance to get closer to her husband. I made a mark in there you have to uh, fix. Yeah, so my husband and I, we both come to the shop now, and he's also in a wheelchair. And um, he's done a lot of flat woodwork, like, um, for example, chess boards or uh, boxes. And just recently he got turned on to the lathe by me, of all people. And now he's uh, addicted to wood turning as well. So, yeah, it's really fun that we can hang out together and just do stuff like that together. Running the wood shop is the Tetra Society, an organization that pairs engineers with clients with disabilities who can utilize their skills. Volunteer instructor Ron Bailey has worked in the shop for about six years. Seeing participants succeed is the most rewarding aspect for Ron. They have ideas, they have plans, there's things they'd like to make, and it's just rewarding to see the finished product when Someone who's never worked on a lathe, who only has one arm, leaves the shop with a finished turned bowl. And how pleased they are that they've been able to do that. And I think, you know, their family and their friends are amazed sometimes at, at uh, what they've done. I said, oh, we didn't know you could do that. Yeah, he does his own cutting. It isn't just decorative pieces that are made at the Tetra Woodworking Shop. Another participant, Mark Stockbrox, makes mostly adaptive equipment. I've made uh, something that I can put spread on toast with so that the toast doesn't run away on the counter. It's stationary with a fence so that I can uh, get that done. Mark explains why it's critical to have access to a shop like this. A lot of us feel like we've lost a lot of control over our lives and independence. So to be able to create these adaptive equipments and be able to contribute and conceive of the process is empowering to a lot of people who may otherwise not have that opportunity outside of this project. Marnie is also very appreciative of the wood shop and the instructors who run it. Each instructor has their own unique skills which is just amazing. And, uh, you know, they come in to volunteer their time and share their knowledge. And if there's a brand new person or, you know, anyone comes in, if there's something specifically that you wanted to make, like whether it may be a, a hope chest or a jewelry box, you know, or even like I say, the wood turning, there's someone there that has those skills that can definitely teach you and uh, work along with you. And yeah, they're so helpful. We really appreciate them. For more information about the woodworking shop or to get involved, you can visit the Tetra Society website at tetrasociety.org.